So there's a question for you: Whatever happened to the adult contemporary music industry? Years ago, there was a group of artists whose main focus was on people who were between the ages of I don't know, 35 and 55. We're talking about Celine Dion, Seal, Dion Warwick. Essentially, people who are not going to be listening to the pop music you would hear on the radio. But nowadays, that seems to have disappeared. Instead, what we have is people who are currently in between the ages of 35 and 55. They're tending to listen to music that was popular when they were teenagers, or when they were kids, or when they were in their early 20s. There's a sense of nostalgia, maybe with it, or maybe just modern music just doesn't appeal to them. The industry itself, as a whole, has now tended to focus on, you know, teenagers and people in their 20s. There are some exceptions to this, obviously, but for the most part, the adult contemporary music scene has all but disappeared. It seems like. Well, what's the point of me bringing this up? Because just like music, most adults now between the ages of 35 and 55, they are not generally being marketed to for a lot of different movies.、Um, obviously, some movies like you know Top Gun or some of the Other、uh, like Mission Impossible movies, <laughs>、uh, you know,、um, there's stuff other than Tom Cruise movies that they get targeted for. But for the most part, when we start looking at things like the Disney films, they are focused on I don't know marketing to 12 to 15 year olds. I would say. Now, this becomes an issue because when we have films like Indiana Jones came out. It was、um, that's a it's a it's a pretty bad movie. It's not terrible. You hear some of these reviews online, and they make it seem like it's the, the freaking apocalypse or something.、Um, but I do get the sense that a lot of the people giving critical reviews didn't actually see the movie.、Um, it's bad, but it's not terrible. That being said, when most people are first exposed to Indiana Jones as a franchise, they're probably in single digits, myself included. So we're talking about six, seven, eight, nine years old. Now you have this sense of wonder, this sense of adventure. You see a guy who's solving riddles. He's fighting Nazis. He is having all kinds of adventures. He's taking charge, and he's all along having a hell of a time、um, throughout the storyline. It's it's pretty wonder wondrous as a kid. Now. The problem that we face is those、uh, six, seven, eight, nine-year-olds now. They're in their、um, late forties, maybe even early fifties, and the movie that's being produced now is still created for twelve-year-olds. So that forty-five-year-old person who might be interested in the Indiana Jones、uh, franchise and seeing a new movie simply is not going to. Feel drawn into any sort of cinematic event because, again, they're 45, and the movie's made for 12-year-olds. And I think the problem is a lot of、uh, Hollywood executives, or let's just say Hollywood in general, they forget that they forget that people need to be aged up. So I mentioned them before, like Top Gun Maverick. They realize that the people who saw the original Top Gun, for the most part, might have been teenagers or they might have been kids. And so when they s- created a new version with Maverick, it's really targeting people in their 40s and 50s. I remember when it first came out, I looked around that movie theater. I saw it,、um, the day it opened,、uh, and it was packed with people in their 40s. There was not a lot of young people in there, and it drew in a lot of people. Because number one, you have the nostalgia. People had this great movie that they experienced in 1985, I think it first came out, and so they got to see a movie that felt like it was made for them. Now we keep blowing this when it comes to making remakes. You got Ghostbusters. When did that come out? What, like the 80s, right? So、um, I remember seeing that as a kid, but some people saw that. Maybe not when they were a kid, but maybe when they were twelve, thirteen, fourteen, whatever. And then again, they go back, and with the remake, they start looking at it, going, "Hey, 
why is this not for us? Again, it's targeted towards uh, 12 year olds. Now, if you're going to make a movie targeted towards 12 year olds, it's great. But you probably don't want to show it as a reimagined version of a movie that was popular with 12 year olds back in the 80s. Because those people are now in their 40s and 50s. So, Star Wars did the same thing. Um, if you look at the prequels and you look at it through a child's eyes, you will notice that they're pretty decent movies for kids. Now, if you were a, uh, a kid or a teenager and you saw the original Star Wars back in the 70s and 80s, and you saw the prequels when you were in your 30s or 40s, you're probably not going to think they're that great movies, right? Um, I won't say the sequel. The sequels are just terrible. I don't know who they were meant for. But anyhow, I think the whole point of this is when when these um, producers are making new movies, they really have to do something like uh, a Django Unchained. So uh, I was a big fan of like the uh, Sergio Cabucci and Sergio Leone movies, the spaghetti westerns back in the day. And so if you looked at the original Django, um, I don't think when that first movie came out in the 1960s that there was a lot of 35 or 45 year old people watching it. It was probably teenage kids, teenage boys, probably 12 to 16 year old boys. Well, when Dango and Chain came out, um, it was targeted towards older people. There was not really a lot of 12 to 16 year old boys who probably went to see that movie when it first came out. Because again, they had the sense to age up the movie towards an audience and i realize a lot of um a lot of these reimagined films are being kind of you know the critics are, are basically being blackpilled they basically just say oh it's everything's terrible it's just garbage and all this stuff um yeah some of these movies are bad some of the stuff reimagined is is pretty pretty um, unwatchable but at the same time I think you got to realize they're not the audience anymore that's a lot of movies now are for 12 year old kids it's a mistake they shouldn't be making these movies which are reimagined versions of older movies for um, 12 year old kids I mean if you if you if I was to remake I don't know flight of the navigator or something like that I would have to basically make something that's going to appeal to somebody who's in his 50s not a 12 year old kid because it it just isn't there anymore because when you're six or seven or eight years old anything you see on tv you get a you get a sense of wonder that lasts until you're about 14 or 15 um and then at that stage you've seen so many different incarnations of entertainment on tv through video games and movies whatever it is to YouTube that nothing is as vivid anymore so you remember the first movies you've seen as a kid with such strong emotions and such vividness that you expect the sequel of that to have that same outstanding sense of emotion it's not gonna happen but what could happen is if you evolve a movie for that same audience you can kind of balance out the spark of nostalgia for when you did have that vivid emotional response with a sense of something that's more appealing and more appropriate for the characters of, um, you know, that is relatable to somebody in their 40s or 50s. And it's just something to think about. Next time you see a remake that's coming out, just remember that uh, number one hollywood is probably gonna make it for a kid and you're an adult so you're probably not gonna like it in the first place but number two just how much they miss the point and what opportunities they could have had like for indiana jones if they had aged it up appropriately so that a normal 45 to 55 year old person would look at it and go like this is a decent movie made for adults I think they would have had a greater audience than they did by trying to make it um, appeal to 12 year olds. Anyhow, those are just my thoughts. Um, let me know yours. Tell me if you disagree with me. Thanks. Bye.